quenga? Is that? <laughs> What's a quenga? Hey, Steph. What you doing out here, girl? Hey guys, I'm Steph and we're here with Hey Steph TV. I'm sitting next to Russ Millions and we're in Berlin, Germany. Welcome, Russ. Thank you for having me. So for people that um, maybe have never been to London and maybe don't know as much about like where you come from, could you maybe describe um, South London and how it was growing up there? South London's a bit crazy, I'll be honest to you. It's called Lewisham? No. Lewisham. Lewisham. Yeah, Lewisham's crazy area. That's the only way I can put it. It's just crazy. Um, I don't crazy in a good way or in a bad way? Or just with no connotation? No connotation. Just, just mad? <laughs> yeah, just mad. Really? Yeah, but I no longer live in Lewisham. Um, I moved to the bushes like, a bit far. What's something typical you would say there? Like something only people say from there? In London. No, in Lusham. Lusham? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things started from Lusham, but then everyone would start using it. Like everything in the world, didn't it? Okay. So I don't really think there's nothing that Lusham owns, but I know that like, stuff like Quenga. Quenga? Yeah. What's a Quenga? A Quenga is that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Quenga? <laughs> a Quenga is a nice looking girl, basically. <laughs> oh, that's a quenga. Yeah. So like, like a ten, like a hot girl. Yeah, hot girl. How would you? Are you guys say chat to her? Like, how would you talk to a quenga in Lusham? Like, what do you say? Yeah. Depends. I don't really, I don't really want to be giving my tips. Like. Oh my god! You're not gonna share like your 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 riz, huh? I'll do it after, and I'll show you after. Oh. Like, no, it's not like that, but I, mean, <laughs> I was like, okay. That. Like, off camera, innit? I don't want them to get my tips. And ah, okay. So you don't want them to, to steal your game. No. Okay. Well, there's a... Talking about women. Quangers? Can I say quangers or is that weird to say? <laughs> is it weird to say? Yeah, you can say quangers. I swear to God, people... <laughs> I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm, I might be saying this the wrong way, but um, on your album, there was a song called Fall in Love, mm. right? And I love that song. That's my favorite song. Is it? It's my favorite song. But there's a line on that song that goes, uh-uh, one fuck make her fall in love. Has this ever happened before? You had a night with someone and they fell in love with you. <laughs> you can just say yes or no. No comment. Okay, that's no also why. good to, okay. Because, yeah, no comment. But um, have you been in love before? Yeah, yeah. What defines love for you? Oh. You just know. You just know. Yeah, man. I've been smoking a bit of Cali weed, so I'm not as articulate as I should be. But, okay. um, yeah, like that. You just know, innit? You know the feeling. Immediately. Not immediately, but eventually. Mm. Could take long, it could be quick, but you'll know when, when it's that, it's that, innit? That's my opinion. You know what my way is to know if you're in love? Oh. When there's like one slice of pizza left and you really want to eat that slice of pizza yeah. and then you give it because you wish the other person would have that's, it. That's normal to me though. That's, like, that's nothing. Hell no. I'm going to keep that slice the fuck. If I don't love you, you think I'm giving you my slice of pizza. Yeah, what the hell is yeah, this? I mean, for someone you love, that's normal. Yeah, for yeah. someone you love, that's normal. Mm. So from my understanding, you were a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> A bit of a rascal as a kid, doing a lot of stuff, and you were sent to Jamaica with seven, correct? What was it that actually caused your mom to, because I know parents, like my mom will say, I'm Kenyan, so yeah. my mom's gonna always used to say, yeah, if you do this and this, if you don't get your grades, I'm gonna send you to Kenya. I, but I know every, I'm, a, I'm a journalist, so I researched a lot of stuff about you. Okay, um, so basically. What, what made her actually send you to, because you know, saying it and then sending someone is two different stories. <laughs> Uh, I just, let's just say I was being naughty in school, like very naughty. Okay. Naughty so that it got to the point where my mom said, okay, you're being a bit too naughty, you need to go to Jamaica. Did you believe her when she said it the first no, time? No, I didn't. I thought I was going for like a little holiday. And yeah, I got tricked. I thought I'd come back soon. Like a week, week or two. And then? It ended up being like, I don't want to lie, but it wasn't any longer than six months or three. See, I, I can't remember, it was so long ago. I'll find out for you though. Okay, so basically, she's like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going somewhere, and then yeah, you're like... We're going to Jamaica, and then I'm like, okay. But I knew I was getting in trouble in school, so I, I think I had a little feeling, but I'm young, there's not much I can do. Right. So I just, yeah, I just went. Do you feel like that was a good thing, to actually yeah, <laughs> re receive the punishment? 
Yeah, it was a good. It, that's, it wasn't really a punishment. I just literally was in another country, living normal. Obviously, it was meant to be a punishment. It kind of is a punishment because I had to start a new life. We went to a new school, but it was a good experience. But so you you got even when you came back, you still got in trouble in school and stuff. But what is it about the school system that just didn't work for you? It wasn't really trouble. I was just like always just. Naughty, talking a lot. Of yeah, just talking, always talking and shit. Do you have an example or no, you don't want to share? Um, no, no, no. Probably just like being silly in class, trying to talk when the teacher's talking or not really doing my work. Or something. Who was your favorite teacher though? Because everybody has that one teacher that was like kind of looking out for you, being like a nice person and just didn't like get pissed about shit. It's so mad, I don't remember them. That's so sad. It's so sad. It's because I was so naughty in school, I don't really. I didn't, I didn't really have a relationship with the teachers because I was being naughty. I was just didn't really want to speak to them that much. Don't, guys, don't do this. This is not good. Would you, is that something if you could go back in time and change? Yeah, because I was just being silly, like, being young, talking when I'm not meant to be talking, when I could have been learning. I could have been an astronaut, maybe not, maybe not a rapper. <laughs> I could have been something else if I weren't talking. Do you think maybe getting more education later on in time or some more, like, if you, you're interested in something, is that an option for you? Like, maybe you have a break and you're like, you know what, I'm going to just go study this and this. And Definitely. If there's something that I find interesting, I'll definitely study it. From my understanding, it used to be called Rugs, right? Yeah. And then oh, Rugsy, no, no. and then Russian, and then Russ, right? Yeah. These are, like, a lot of names and there's, like, involved, like, you, the evolution of you kind of, right? Yeah. What would you say you progressed most in as an artist? My flows and wordplay, maybe. Those two. And beat selection. What's something that makes you pick a beat? Because before, that's yeah. what I was going to say, before I didn't really... I didn't really mind what kind of beats I was going to use, but now I kind of know what my target audience want to hear. Yeah. So I'd rather go for that kind of sound, if you know what I mean. How, okay, so this is like a very general artistic question, right? So from my understanding, there's a lot of people that kind of want your old sound back and there's like a lot of people that really fuck with your new sound. Um, I like both. So my question would be, would you ever, for your fans that you... Yeah, just for just out of nos nostalgia for them, because they really want that, but it's even if it's not really... You know. It's a bit negative though as well, the old sound. Yeah. So it's like... I've passed all of that, so I don't really... It's not going to be the same, me doing it now. It would feel fake? Yeah, it would feel fake, like... I, like, I know what I mean. I think I've kind of passed that. But maybe, you never know, like, I might just do, like, a freestyle or something. I think they would be super happy about that. Yeah, talk, talk my shit. Maybe. You see. But that's the only reason why I don't really make music like that. Like my old songs, because I think I'm kind of past that now. What would you say you've involved, uh, evolved most in as a person, not just as an artist? I think I've evolved in a lot of ways as a person. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a bit more calmer, a um, bit more open-minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's something you do now that you would have never done like four years ago? Sushi, I don't know. <laughs> I bought some trousers today. Yeah. And they're kind of like, they flare a bit and they're like, kind of, they're a bit crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're a bit crazy. Can you show us them at some point? Yeah, I'll show you them. I, my friend's in charge, I might have a picture of them. Okay. But um, yeah, like, probably like the things I'll wear now. This, it's like style. Yeah, my style, like probably, yeah, like, that kind of stuff. Do you think the person you were from four years ago would love where you are now? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, indeed. What do you love about yourself the most? Mm, that's a bit like self-centered, that's the way. No. Well, it's something you should, you know, self-love is important. There's some, some things you love about yourself and some things you don't like. Like, for instance, I love about myself that I can be very kind to people. Yeah, same. That's what I love about myself. Yeah? Yeah. Would you say you're a very kind person? Yeah. I'm a bit selfless. Yeah. Selfless, is it? Yeah, like, just, if I have it, you can have it, basically. That's so crazy because you, um, for your first deal, you also split that in half, right? If I can have it, you can have it. That was like 60,000 and you're like 30, 30 to you and 30 to someone else. Do you think that's from your upbringing or have you just been like that? Probably, definitely. 
because I must have learned that from somewhere. Or yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That deal was crazy, by the way. I, 24 album deal. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that was. I'm so happy I got out of that. I got out of that kind of quick after I found out though. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. What's something you would tell people that are just starting in music that maybe get the opportunity to sign somewhere? Something you wish someone would have told you? Just read the paperwork. <laughs> literally, read the paperwork and make sure you have a lawyer. That's the main thing. Just read it and make a lawyer read it. Um, whatever you do, if you sign it, just know you're getting yourself into. That's it. What are some of the highlights of this lifestyle and what are some of the negative style parts of it? Mm, the highlights is probably um, the women, the money. No, <laughs> nah, I'm, nah, I'm not even going to speak about women like that item. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, probably party, money, and money, parties, getting um, like special treatment sometimes, mm -hmm. like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What's the negative the side? Negative is, uh, you can't really have a personal life. You can't really do normal stuff. Um, Sometimes it's like you're a robot, because, wow. yeah, well, because you, you just... Just repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat. Yeah. yeah, so that kind of stuff, no, mm, that, really. What's something of the normal stuff you'd love to be able to do again? I don't know, just walk to the, walk to the shop without you know, no one with me, not having to take any pictures, without being, like, without... Because you know how I see it, I can't not take a picture, I have to take a picture. So if I go to the shop and 20 people ask me, I have to take 20 pictures. If I say no, it's like, I'm rude. And so it's like, yeah, stuff like that. So it's like kind of your likeness doesn't belong to you when you're outside. Yeah, definitely doesn't. Is there like a certain way you would like people to approach you when they take a picture? Because I know people can be rude sometimes. No, not really rude, it's just that they don't understand that you're a human being and that you could be, you, know, you could be getting food or eating, but they'll still want a picture. And you, I'm not going to be saying no, so I'm just like, ah, oh, cool. And then I'll just get up and take it. So that kind of stuff. Or if I'm going, like, I, can't, uh, I can't really go shopping, really, without people with me saying, oh, take a picture or don't take a picture. But it's more ups to negatives, yeah, right? Way more ups to negatives. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. That's what I'm saying. It's not really negatives. It's stuff that it's what, you can't have everything. you got to take the pros and the cons. You get wealth. I'm, I'm able to look after my family, but I'm just not able to just walk around without anyone bothering me. It's not that deep. So I signed up for, isn't it? I don't know if people really genuinely, like, when it starts, are like, they understand what it actually in entails for the rest of your life, right? No, 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 you kind of do, but, but you, you don't. go through it, yeah. then it'll really hit you, like, okay, yeah, this is what I signed up for. What's something you'd say, because you just said that you, you know, it's something you don't mind because you take care of your family and stuff. What's something you're most proud of? Yeah, probably being able to look after my loved ones, literally. Yeah, that's the most important thing. What does your mom think of your music? <laughs> she loves it. Does she dance to it? Yeah. My mom and my nana are probably my biggest supporters. Like my family, isn't it? What do you think you can still achieve as an artist oh, when well. you've already, like, had... Two, three, how many number one? Oh, so many. There, there, you can never have enough of anything. Okay. So I can, other goals artistically. Yeah, definitely. Probably um, some awards. Mm, a specific award you want? I don't want to be specific, but whatever God has planned for me. But yeah, some awards will probably be um, would be nice. That would be a good achievement. Um, what else? Mm, a lot. There's so much I can do, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that can be done. I'm still working right now. As, while I'm on tour, I got my studio on my bus. Are you ever like just satisfied with how things are, or are you someone that always has to keep going forward? No, I, I can't. You can't get complacent. I gotta always like be working. You can relax, but you can't just relax in your career. You can relax your body, but not your career. You, can, you always gotta work. Have you ever felt burned out? Yeah, but I don't let myself get burnt out no more. I know how to handle that. I think. Ever had writer's block? Writer's block, yeah. What do you do when you have writer's block? Just wait, you just go away. <laughs> what? Wait till it goes away? That's the secret. You're like, no, you're but like whatever, what? it's gonna go away. If it's not long, it probably just will be like, probably like an hour or something, or a couple hours, or maybe a one session and then. 
But you know what? It might not be writer's block. It might just be like the beats. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's writer's block because I can hear a mad beat and start writing straight away. Okay. Yeah. So. Maybe uninspired. Would be yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. That's a better term. Uninspired. What's like a pet peeve in the studio for you? Something where you're like, ah, oh, I hate it when. Pe- oh, when producers are just like just doing a bit too much. That. Like, what does, what does that mean? What does that mean? Producer starts twerking, jumping around, well, uh, doing too much. Like, what that. Okay, let me give you an example. If we're going through beats, let's say we're about to make a song and there's like a selection of 20 beats. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, cool, let's go through the beats. And they'll be playing like the, the full length of every beat. So the whole three minutes, instead of playing like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, just the loop. Yeah, the, then, yeah. Okay, example, I'll be like, after the first three minutes, I'll be like, Okay, just play like the first 30 seconds or 20 seconds and they'll still do it again and I'll be thinking. <laughs> What's Because you kind of already know from the first yeah, 30 seconds yeah, if you like, like it or not. Yeah, yeah, literally. You don't need the progression and... I don't need all that. Okay, well, to everyone producing <laughs> for this man, you heard it. Oh, camera, stop that shit. 30 seconds is the max. Um, so what, what I like about One of a Kind is that you collaborated a lot and you're wonderful in collaborations. Um, so, you know, there's some people that hate collaborating with people, but rather unsocial. So I enjoyed that very much. And I thought one person, of course, we're in Germany. We wonder if you guys will collaborate officially at some point. Come on, guess. You're you sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I thought so. Because um, you know he's like, we're super proud of him. Like, we yeah. love Luciano. Like, he's yeah. he's also in Berlin. Yeah, me and Luciano, we spoke before. And yeah, we speak sometimes. We're going to um, we're gonna probably make something in the future. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to him about that still. You really need to do that for us. We need that. Yeah, I'm going to speak to him. Definitely. I don't know if he's going to see this, but please. <laughs> we need that collab. And also, what I always wondered is, how come you and Tion never made a collab tape together? Because... Yeah. Honest to God, the truth is we both was in Dills, so we're, in, we're separate artists, so we've both got our own um, contracts to fulfill. Right. So, for example, he was in a um, deal with one label and I was in a deal with another label. Yeah. So we couldn't just stop what we had planned to start doing our joint tape because we've already signed up for stuff, did you get? So, yeah. yeah. That's the only reason, literally. So it's just politics that's kind of yeah. stopping it from happening. So it's just a thing of timing. Timing. Okay. Well, um, I see your wonderful manager standing in the door, which means he wants us to finish up. But before we finish up, can I teach you some German? There's a few things we can do. We can go the usual route, like, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Or I could say, hi, I'm Russ Millions and I'm in Berlin. I could teach you that. I don't know. I don't know. Both. Okay, so let's start with the positives. So, I love you in German is, okay, ich, ich liebe, liebe dich. dich. Ich liebe 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 dich. Ja. Ich liebe right. dich. Yeah. And now you can say, ich bin. Ich bin. Russ Millions. Russ Millions. Und spiele heute. Und spiele heute. In Berlin. In Berlin. That's perfect. Hey. That's really good German. Yay. Wait, one more time. Yeah. I remember that. Okay. Time. What? The I love you or the ich? Okay. Ich. Ich. Liebe, liebe dich. Dich. Ich liebe dich. Yeah. Ich liebe dich. 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 Um, <laughs> my name. Ich bin. Ich bin. Ich bin. Ich is always ich, I. Ich. Ich bin. Russ. Millions. Russ Millions. Yeah. Ich bin Russ Millions. <laughs> <laughs> ja, heftig. Ich mach nur Interviews mit dir.